This is Jack from Apple Charts with a state of the market video. Today is November 13th, 2021. Before we get started, this video is for educational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. And I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right. Starting with the SPX, a couple of pretty ugly days this week. But it looks like, it, you know, like we talked about the, at the end of um, the last video that we were getting kind of extended here and a retest of, you know, retest or a, a consolidation into the moving averages to let them catch up was very possible. That's exactly what we saw. Um, the moving average for the most part held, um, especially the fastest one, which is more bullish. I think, you know, like here, when you start testing the, the 23 day or 20 day, whatever you use, um, you know, that's. A less bullish scenario but when you're only coming down into the, the nine day or 10 day or 11 day that's very very bullish and so that's what we see right now looking at the cues actually you know what before we do that let's look at rsp rsp same thing didn't even violate it did much better than the spx so equal weight s p um even stronger shows uh, uh you know breath uh was really good cues looks just like the S&P, except maybe a little bit harsher because it was more extended. There's your snapback and boom, held, moved higher. Um, looking at the equal weight, you know, again, you had these consolidation days where it wasn't looking that bad, you know, held in there nicely. If you go to a line, you know, it was like pretty tight. Um, but then it came down a really bad day here. This was ugly. Um, stopped me out of probably, I was 40% cash after this day. Stopped me out of a lot of positions. Um, anyway, um, and then it just rebounded and I rebought many of those positions on, on Friday, Thursday and Friday. So um, anyway, that's the equal weight. So again, came back, kind of retested this, then moved higher. Looks fine. Looking at the IWM. Again, didn't even held up much better, actually, which is great because look how extended this was. Had to come back, reset. Now it's time to move forward again. Um, mid caps, MDY. You know, again, looks even better than IWM, right? Mid caps, I think, are really the leaders right now, which is nice to see. You know, big breakout, moved higher. You know, here's one, there's two. I think there's a lot more gas in this tank. Um, hopefully, you know, into year end, and, and you know, we'll see though. But uh, mid caps look great. Um, IWO should look exactly the same. Uh, not quite as good, but it's just a normal retest, right? Not quite as good as the IWM, but again, just a normal retest. So that was IWO. All right, XLF financials had the big breakout and has just been kind of consolidating into its moving averages, not doing anything wrong, not doing anything terribly right. Um, so nothing negative on this. And that's what we're looking for. SMH again got extended and ahead of itself. There's your recheck, and it started moving higher again. Very nicely. I mean, it's perfect. Didn't even touch the nine day EMA when it came down. Really strong. Looking at lumber, you know, I was talking about you know this area holding and make sure we didn't roll over because that'd be a very bull, um, bearish scenario going into. Um, you know, the end of the year into next year, you know, looking at three to six months and, um, and we didn't get it. It moved higher. It's fine with me. It's in a range chopping around, not doing anything bad. Um, so lumber's not giving us a signal or at least not a bearish signal at this point. So that's always positive. Um, looking at bond spreads, government bonds to um, high yield junk bonds. Uh, whatever. Um, Again, doing just fine, chopping around, moving sideways, no big spikes or anything like that. And so uh, so no signal, no no bear signal for sure. So it's definitely a bull signal in my opinion. Um, looking at the VIX, back at 16 after the little spike, no big deal, looks great. Trending market, you know, VXN, which is a um, NASDAQ VIX, same, same look to it, you know, just in a range, not doing anything wrong. Um, put call ratio. You know, we talked about 
the bullishness that was happening in the market. We had three big bullish spikes and, um, and a quick retest. And then now we're coming back into almost a, a very bullish area. But as you can see in prior areas where we get these clusters, you know, that was a very bullish time for the market. So I think that this is um, a, not a negative, you know, staying in this range just means that we have a really good, strong bull market, right? So it's not that, you know, this isn't this, the, the, this, this signal is we're in a bull market. You know, when we go back and we see something like this, now that's a potential bottoming signal. And again, um, to me, this is a very bullish look to it. And, um, and I think the bull market is strong. Um, looking through the value line geometric ind index. And when you look at this, you know, you had the go back to these charts, you know, you had the big breakout. And then you had the retest, and now it's trying to move higher again. Bullish scenario in, in my book, right? It looks really good. That's the value line geometric. Um, looking at the percent stocks above the 50 day moving average. Um, I was watching this consolidation area and price did break out. It continues to make higher highs and higher lows. Uh, that's an uptrend, not even in this overdone area yet by any means. So, um, so I think that this market has a lot more to go in it. Gold, gold's kind of interesting. So let's go to the weekly chart. We've done this you know, for months and months and months, and probably a couple of years now, we'll look at this chart and what's going to happen with this chart. Um, you know, you have this in, you know, want to call this cup and handle, inverse head and shoulders. It's a bottoming pattern. And now on the weekly, you got this. So, you know, somebody wants to be long gold. Again, this is not the purpose of this video, really, but I say you, there's no reason why you couldn't be long gold based on this 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 right here on the weekly. I'm just knowing your time frame. But what does gold breaking out really mean? Um, you know, you know, it's more of a defensive asset. You know, I think that this is the first shot right here. Now, if it gets above 184 on the GLD, I think that we're in a completely different. You know, 184. 186, somewhere around there. Um, I think that's a, you know, potential, maybe bigger problem for the market. But this is just one little, one, one data point at this point. But, you know, as a tradable asset, maybe gold has something to it. Um, as an indicator, definitely something I'm watching. Uh, looking at Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin on the weekly. And let's just go and just zoom into this area. And so it tried to break out, and so far it has not been successful. Um, but it's not doing anything terribly wrong yet either. It hasn't, you know, come all the way down here. So it just may need some more time. Um, I'm still trying to figure out Bitcoin as an indicator, uh, how strong of an indicator it is um, as far as a bullishness. Yeah, I think that that would be, it is a bullish indicator in general. But question is is it a, a similar to gold where is a defensive indicator um i'm not sure yet so i just want to keep watching it and keep seeing what it does in correlation to the market all right now with that we're in ethereum there's ethereum a little bit stronger than bitcoin already broke out and staying above the breakout area even if we extend the breakout area to here right yeah, that looks like the breakout area right yeah so Above it, we'll call that maybe a little retest, but nothing, nothing worry, worrisome yet. So, uh, so the two big boys in the crypto space look good. All right. So going back to Q's daily, exactly what we would expect to see as far as all this goes. We had a breakout. We had um, let's get these moving averages back in. We had a retest of moving averages. So far, they've hold. My stance has not changed. I think this is a very bullish um, scenarios. And if there's stocks you like that are have earnings um, and they gap down earnings, um, not too bad, then um, then those may be places for you to scoop some up. I did this week. I bought some coin. Um, you know, had a big gap down earnings. Um, I bought it 
after hours near the you know, 10% down or so. And so far it's, it's working, you know, uh, unity, same thing. I already had a position, but a gap down after hours on earnings, I scooped some up. Um, I think it was this day right here was earnings day. I scooped some up down here, added to my positions a little bit. And, um, and so far it's working out really good for me. So I think that's the type of market we're in a buy the dip type of market. Um, but be tactical, right? Because you can also have upstarts, know what's extended, right? Upstart gap down and it has not come back. So know what, know the difference, right? Again, um, this looks like an exhaustion area right here and it ended up being so far Celsius also, um, you know, again, this is not the look you want, right? In earnings. Um, so anyway, uh, Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. It's a bull market. You know, might as well take advantage of it. Um, the market's good only a few times a year. So uh, so this is, I think, one of those times from what the charts are telling me. Hope y'all have a good week. If you like these videos, like and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. And you can find me on Twitter at AlphaCharts365. Take care.